Hey guys, if you've been looking for these pre-season cast iron frying pans, I have been searching in like Goodwill stores or stores where people like, you know, put things on consignment, like uh, entire kitchens and stuff, because those are the pans that are pre-season. Now these come pre-season from Tramontina and I think that what they do is they'll heat them up and then coat them with oil on the inside. And uh, I wanted you to have a look at these, especially because they are on sale right now at Costco's around the United States. Not all Costco's have these, but the ones that do, they're on sale for like, I think I got both of these for a little over $23. And that's a bargain because most of the time, even at the big box stores like Target and Walmart, one pan will cost much more than 24 bucks. So this is a good deal, it has silicon handles. Let's take this thing apart and see what it's made of. Okay, so here we are. Uh, let's see, normally, did I just scratch the countertop because we don't want to do that. Matter of fact, just in case, get you an old towel, this one here, I used to just be my old kitchen towel because it has stains on it. The other one has a hole in it. And you know, it's one of those kind of towels. Okay, so we got the same thing going on where you have like a little latch here. And I'm the kind of person that, you know, I like to keep the box intact if I can. So just in case, you know, you take it back or some crazy thing like that. Um, let me see here, there's like ribbed down the side here, there are little inserts, but I think if I pull this flap forward, that will release the side, maybe, no, oh, I see how, here we go. And then the other side has a similar little lock. You know what's cool is like, especially around Christmas time, you get boxes that have very interesting types of folds. And I'm kind of thinking, what kind of machine cuts this cardboard out? Oh, wow, they have instructions right here. So let's see here. It says, before using your skillets for the first time, hand wash in hot water, use soap, remove the pre-seasoning. Dry immediately and thoroughly to prevent rust. Skillet's been pre-seasoned prior to shipment from the factory do not need to be seasoned. However, for best results, you may apply a light coating of cooking oil inside the skillets before each use. This will ensure the skillets remain properly seasoned and prevent rusting. So it says right here, season is a coat of oil baked into the skillets at high temperatures. Reseason, apply a high smoke, smoking point cooking oil over the entire surface and heat in the oven for an hour at 350. Wow. To catch excess, so I place a baking sheet on the oven rack below the skillets. So, over the entire surface, I guess that means the bottom too, huh? Recommend using silicon, nylon, bamboo, or wood utensils when cooking. You may use metal utensils once the skillets are well seasoned after many uses. So, this means they're not totally seasoned, okay? So... Anyway, good price and they're sort of seasoned. Hand wash, always dry thoroughly, keep cast iron skillet seasoned, uh, oven safe up to 500, 400. You gotta take the silicon grip off. And right on the bottom here it says China. I'm telling you, if you wanna make something for the American market, I don't know, I love buying in USA, but sometimes China is the only place where you're gonna make a profit in this crazy market. I mean, you guys know how I feel about the American healthcare, right? It's just like out of control. Now, these feel like, you know, that rough sort of iron feeling. I mean, it is iron. And then take a look at this. You have your silicon uh, handles that are on here with, uh, I, I'm not sure if I want to take that off, you know, until I, I'm going to season these things. 
Um, maybe that's something I could do tonight. Just set the oven on a on a timer and then put my ghee that I made the other day all over this. That's a very high smoking point. I know it's above 350. All right, let's take a look at the other one while we have the box open, guys. And of course, the beautiful made in China cardboard insert that is made out of total car wet cardboard slush. And we have our 10 inch, which is good for making eggs, a little bit of bacon in the morning. This thing weighs a ton. I don't know how the Chinese get these over here without sinking the ship. So that's about, 20, it says on the bottom here, 24, 25 centimeters across. All right, and this one is our big 12 inch, which is 30 centimeters. So that's 12 inch. Could cook quite, I wanna cook these guys in here. I'm not sure, can you, can you get us a view on that? That's my, um, those are my, what they're, what we're cooking here? Chuck pot roast. Boneless. It's been cooking for, let me see the timer come up on the sous vide machine. Um, got two hours to go, so it's been cooking for 20 hours at 136 degrees. So it should come out nice and tender, sort of like a medium rare, okay? And then what I wanna do is sear them in this. But I probably won't do that till tomorrow because it's late in my neck of the woods. So I'm gonna get these things prepped if you guys want to watch that part, fine. Uh, next, I'm going to put them in the sink and hand wash. I guess I am going to take the handles off because that's probably the only way to get them actually clean. I'm not sure here what kind of marks this is going to make in the bottom of the sink. It'll probably make some marks, but I have the best solution I found in the whole wide world is this Barkeeper's Friend. This stuff is all of three bucks and it's full and it's wet and it's full of like a pumice. And I'm telling you, it, it just does such a good job on uh, these ceramic sinks. You just take it, squirt it around. I usually take a brush and these little, um, these little marks you see from pans and stuff, they come right out. So I clip the tie wrap off the end of the pan and I'm gonna take these maybe silicon handles off did they put these on when they're hot <laughs> no they're coming but it's awful hard so there you go and you know on a lot of these iron skillets I found there's not much of a handle you know, I mean, that's like super short for doing stuff, but not too concerned about that. So what I'm using is soap. Uh, I really love this stuff and I don't make any money off any of this stuff, guys. Um, it's just Dawn and I, I found out the foamy one with, you know, it just takes grease off everything, which is probably... Uh, since we're going to season them, I guess it's okay. I was going to say not a good idea if you want to, if you want the pan to be seasoned. But what I do is just use like a pump. And this stuff is like more powerful than a speeding bullet. So um, it is expensive. That right there is about almost $4 at the grocery store. So we're gonna get all the, you know, factory grit and stuff off of here. And get it ready for the oven. Hey, you know what I should be doing in the meantime? Let me go do that. I'll stop the video here for a sec. I'm gonna start the oven, right? Why not have it preheat? <laughs> Oops, I removed my trusty towel. I'm using the one from the other side. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. So this one, we have done it. Except for the rinsing. Okay. Woo. I want to give the whole kitchen a shower. 
Can you guys hear me okay? Hope so. One of these days we're gonna get a nice camera to do this with. But until then, I'm just use uh, this is an iPhone mini. <laughs> Um, the 12 and it has 5G it has everything I need for a phone but on you know sometimes it's a little lacking with the um, with the uh, video part but that's totally fine we can all <clears throat> see everything and everything's working fine now this did it scuffed up the my sink a little bit let me pull this handle off Gee. Maybe that's a good sign. These things won't just fall off. All right, we're ready. Wet this one down. Again, what we're doing is getting the factory stuff off. If you look carefully, you can see somebody's fingerprints right here. I didn't touch that thing, so. Uh, yeah, you might say, ooh, <laughs> but that happens. I mean, you know, you should clean your stuff before you use it for the first time, uh, including clothes. And I know a lot of people are against that. They want to wear the thing right out of the store, you know, but, um, and you can do that. I mean, it's not harm and, and not washing it, but there's a lot of stuff, you know, and if you've ever been inside of a factory, it's not the cleanest place in the world. Although they try to make the product as clean as they can before shipping. I'm going to try to get the soap out of it. All right. Always done. And our stove's heating up. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is get my famous ghee out which um, is what we're going to use as the oil to season. This is ghee. It is made from regular butter, but you, what you do is you cook off all the milk fats, and it's perfect for cooking. It's very healthy. I'm going to put it right there, and I'm going to use a spoon. All right, guys. Sorry, my... Uh, my phone died in the middle of all that. Um, another thing I want to bring up is the fact that I've been calling these iron frying pans. They are, or you can fry in them, but I guess the common term is iron skillet. So don't go crazy in the comments, okay? Iron skillet. All right, I already did the smaller one. Let me get a paper towel and show you what that looks like. See, we got, man, that thing's heavy. Every inch. And now on to the big, heavier one, right? Um, still got a little bit of water in the bottom of that. So what I'm gonna do is take my trusty paper towel and just clean it up. But don't have to worry too much about that. What I, we worry more about is coating this whole thing in ghee, yes. Um, the oven is already preheated to 350 since my phone died. And the reason it died is because I was making some other videos down at the beach. And uh, what you do, I mean, this is where you don't use a paper towel. You just use your fingers, right? And why do you use finger? Because a paper towel will get the whatever oil you're using on this on the surface but when you use your fingers since your fingers are you know they're pliable with the oil that you're using it'll actually go down to if you put this under a microscope you'd see that there's just it's very porous right that's why we can do this thing that's called seasoning um what you do is you're working the oil down into the pores of the metal and that's a good thing because it stays down in there. We're gonna sort of bake it down in there at 350 and gonna have, there we go, gonna have a great result with that. So I got enough ghee in here, 
my oil that I'm using, and you can use the oil of your choice. Just make sure that it has a higher smoking point than 350 degrees, because that's what our oven's set at, and you don't want that thing smoking all over the, the house, right, and setting off the smoke oil. Don't want that. But um, I'm just going to be doing this, and when this thing's ready, we're going to pop them into the oven since it's already preheated. Okay, now I'm ready to... <clears throat> Okay, now I'm ready to pop these things in the oven. Um, whoa. Um, the oven is pretty far away, so the audio is gonna be, you know, I don't have a microphone on. So what is gonna happen here is I'm gonna open the oven door and just get them in there, okay? And then I'm gonna set the timer. So that's what's gonna happen if, I'm talking and you don't hear me that's all that's happening okay but I'm not I'm gonna try not to say much okay here we go see how huge this thing is and we're already at 350 there's one and then the baby one the 10 incher we'll put right next to that one And don't forget to put something underneath the pans because they're going to drip down that ghee. That stuff will drip and will mess up your stove. So you want something underneath there. Now I'm going to set the timer for an hour. And I hit start, but nothing changed on there, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. I am starting them at 10.22 p.m., so 11.22 p.m., they'll be done, right? And for this, while that's baking away, don't forget, it's this product here. I'm telling you, this is your best friend in the kitchen. Barkeeper's friend! Yes. Um, I, I love it because it works, and it's so freaking cheap. And nobody ever tells you about it. But see, it just takes these stains right out of there. And you're done. You can keep cleaning up other stuff in the kitchen too with it. Um, fantastic. Look at that. They're gone. I'm happy. All right. Our trusty oven just finished the hour. And whoo. Got smoking in there, which uh, we'll hit the vent fan here. So, take a little smoke. There's probably stuff in there. Looked like the smoke's coming from the pans. Wasn't too bad. But um, the only thing I can say is that we've got to uh, keep that oven closed until the smoke dissipates. All right, still have the vent fan going, and as you can hear, the oven has cleared of the smoke. Got the front door open with a bag propped up, and then I opened one of the balcony doors. So let's get back over here. And <laughs> got stuff all over the place here because I'm trying to get some windows and doors open okay so we're gonna take these out now if you notice in the pans down below there is residual stuff so that means that and you can even see it inside the pan look at that so I'm gonna take these pans and cool them on this you know what not a better idea. My fear is, if you guys know anything about ceramic cooktops, when they get a little bit of oil on them, they are puggers to clean up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it over here on a fancy fake glass countertop. And uh, let's try this again. Put that one here. 
perfect. Got some meat going on in the sous vide. I'm not sure if you've ever seen one of those. And then here's the second one. Yeah. Perfect. And then uh, we're gonna have to get that oil out. I'm thinking, unless we're gonna use that to cook with. But uh, there you go, they're all uh, seasoned and ready to go. And then our clean up in the morning, what I'm gonna do is just take these pans out of the bottom here and, um, you know, put them in the sink. Everything else should work out rock fine. I don't see any, let's make sure we got any, we do, we can just wipe this down, but I don't think we got any residual butter going anywhere. Man, this is just old oven stuff. Yeah. Nothing new here. And on the top here. Um, nah, it's just new stuff. All right, so there you go. Um, one thing they were sitting on here, the bottoms were, were seasoned, so we can clean this off tomorrow too. Okay, and then we'll be all set. I like how these are black instead of chrome. You should do a piece of cake to clean them off. That's it, we got them seasoned. Um... Hope you enjoyed the video on how to season your iron skillets. And uh, remember, this is uh, on sale right now at Costco. They are beautiful to have. I've owned them before. Uh, we have one in storage since, um, gosh, just last month. We put a few things in storage as we're planning on moving to a uh, home that i um, doing some, um, some uh, dem what do you call it, demo work? I watch too much, not too much TV. I don't watch much tv at all but the little i i do i see these guys demoing they say you know so demolishing things so we're doing some renovations and when that gets done we're going to move into that home and right now my iron skillet is in that storage so i got these not a good big expense and we use them almost every day all right have a good one and thanks for subscribing thanks for um commenting and uh, appreciate um, all the support on this channel. Thanks so much.